episode. We're so glad to have you guys. This week was Memorial Day weekend, and I want to thank all the veterans out there for serving our country. We went to a fun family camp for Memorial Day weekend. We hung out with a bunch of fun friends, and we did a bunch of fun stuff. My favorite part was the crawdads. We would split bamboo in half, and then it would hit the back of the crawdad and catch it, and then I would lift it out of the water. And then we weren't allowed to eat any since uh, the guy wanted us to put him back. What, what, what happened there? Um, some bamboo. I was breaking it. Yeah. Cut. And it sliced your finger. Mm -hmm. Cut your finger. Wow. Mm -hmm. What? Crawdads. Crawdads. Over in that bucket. How many do you have? We have seven. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Fun. Look at these guys doing their thing. The big kids played volleyball and all of us little kids went on a big swing. So what do you think? You up for this? Yeah. Ready to try it? Yeah. Okay, go get a rip. Yeah. Climb up there. Boom boom boom. Boy, up to the up to the platform. This swing is something else, not your average uh not your average swing here. It goes all the way up to this eucalyptus tree, which is ginormous. Look at this. So, Cordy, um, Kinsey's getting ready to load up. Are you fearless? Or are you a little afraid? What are you thinking? I don't know. You're just ready to rip, huh? Yeah. Yeah? You're good with it? Yeah. Can't wait to see you do it. Okay, go up there and watch how Kinsey does it, and then you do what she does, okay? Yeah. As long as she does it well. What? Whoa. Hey, <laughs> Kinsey. It's looking, looking for real, Kins. Drop your feet down like the super swing. Drop your feet. Her legs were shaking. That was funny. There you go. Yeah. So, what do you think, kiddo? It's fun. It's way scarier than it looks. Scarier than it looks, huh? All right. A lot of brains in there. Oh, got to protect all that. so fun. So fun. Bentley, you look ready to roll. You ready to go, bud? Awesome. So go. head on up. Head on up. There he goes. Ready? Yeah. Go! Yeah, baby! Yeah. Look at that face. <laughs> look at that face, Cordy! <laughs> Cordy! Perfect! <laughs> yeah. now, now is it fun? Yeah. Cordy, what do you think of that? That was super fun. Super fun. Your face, uh, your face said exactly that. When you came off that, <laughs> you were standing on the ladder, Cord. Thank you. Yeah? Was that great? Yeah. Your face when you came off, I hope we get to see it on here, because you were like, <laughs> you weren't I so know. sure. Kiddos, out here at uh, Jim and Chris Bartley's place. What a great place they have here. It's awesome. Look at you! Look at you! She's going back up! That was, was the funnest thing ever! Was that the funnest thing ever? That was awesome!
Now we're gonna tell you guys why we chose our Mercedes Sprinter van to be our big ski family car. All right, hey there, we're down here at Santa Monica and this week we're gonna tell you just a little bit about why we chose to get a van, a uh, Mercedes Sprinter van, as our next vehicle. For years we've had vans. Uh, ever since we were first married, Janice and I had a little uh, Dodge minivan and I think that lasted up to all six kids. We were piled in there, it's yeah, eight of us. And then we went to like a 12 passenger Ford van and then a 15 passenger van. And really became uh, clear last winter, well actually yeah, last, no, two winters ago, we were coming down from Mountain Bachelor and I'd been so fortunate we have over the years of not having accidents, but I literally went into a crazy sideways spin coming down the main boulevard coming down from Mount Bachelor and hit a snowbank going probably 45 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour, flipped the van, rolled it through the snow. Fortunately, it just I won't go into all the details, God is good and we landed back upright, everybody intact and nobody injured really at all. I and mean, a few tweaks and bumps, but just nothing serious. But it was really clear at that time that we really wanted a four-wheel drive vehicle. This Sprinter van, if you can look at this thing, these are snow tires, they're siped. And for all of our winter travel this year, we never once had to put on chains, didn't even have to think of putting on chains. And I, I don't know, Janice, I know yeah, that's a big deal. Yeah, even pulling a trailer. Yeah. We just climbed up, hills, up the mountain. Didn't matter. It was amazing. And I won't tell you, Janice was is comfortable driving, going to the store, up and down hills. It's so easy to push a button inside, no locking in hubs, and immediately, boom, you're in four-wheel drive. And it doesn't mean you're invincible, but it sure makes a lot of things doable. Yes. And for us, again, with all the winter traveling that we did and the resorts we hit this year, and a lot of winter weather, tons of snow, very tons cold, of snowy driving. Negative yeah, 10. And very icy, slick, but never once felt unsafe and so really safety was a is a big deal to us more all the time um, when it comes to a vehicle and the sprinter van just with this four-wheel drive capability was it and it has heated seats so. that's kind of fun nice. up front passenger yes. seats are heated seats these vans mercedes you think mercedes and you might think oh it's a luxury vehicle they're not they're very utilitarian and uh very uh, fundamentally they're almost like a cargo van they're almost like driving a ups truck okay. we'll show you a little bit but here in the back um these doors are awesome in that they open and they don't just open look at these clips they yeah. actually open all the way around look at this okay so it's like you get and yes. they, they have magnets that go to the side so same thing on this side oh, okay and they literally give you 100 percent access to the back of the the cargo area cargo area if you can see my arm here it's only about i'm gonna say two feet almost three feet maybe almost 30 inches deep so it's not extremely deep but that allows for 12 people to sit, all in seat belts, all buckled up, all squared away, and you still have room to grab a, a bin. And Janice, well there's done, right? If you go have a bin, there's all sorts of room to stack a storage bin. These are full-size storage bins. You could probably stack. You can go four or five high. Four or five high. Four or five on, high. You know, two wide. Two times. So you're talking 10 bins if you were doing it that way. We also were able to put our ski racks in here. And because of the height, I can stand completely upright. I'm 5'11. So I've got another three, four inches of clearance here. And then, and all of a sudden, I mean, the skis, no matter which ones we had, we didn't have any DH boards um, and nothing over like two, 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 nothing over 200 centimeters. And so everything fits in here. And so that was really awesome. We put surfboards in here. We put all kinds of stuff besides these bins in here. And if you'll notice, the bottom has this hard vinyl, crazy durable surface. Because if you put surfboards in here or skis, the water drips and then it mildews the and then you're stinky, stink. destroys, it's bad yeah. news. Okay, they got some cargo tie down straps in here. So you can actually put little loops here and put straps on the loops on both sides if you need it. We haven't used it yet. But again, with the high clearance and the, uh, and the extra cargo space, we can often get away without using the full trailer, which is kind of nice. Yeah. And again, you can get full width getting in and out. The doors are pinned to the sides and not flapping around. And then when you go to close them, it's so cool because these hinges just literally go automatically into place. So there's no extra thought given to having to get tricky with it. And boom, done. Okay. It's got towing capacity, which does a great job with our utility trailer and uh, anything we've pulled so far, it's done a good job. I will say this, it's not a workhorse towing vehicle um, on the low end. It just, it isn't a powerhouse. I think some of the 460 Fords and some of those had more torque and more power power. 
this is a little low getting going, but then it feels really good going. And it's got a governor on it. So it stops like, you at what, 80, 80, so that's good. 88, yes. you can get 85 on a downhill <laughs> with a tailwind. Well, I don't think so. Yeah, anyways, and up, up front, Everybody's got their own seat belts, which we uh, are adamant about using, especially since uh, so some of our instances. But oh, Janine, yeah. same thing, standing okay. up. It's interesting, but awesome. the, the acoustics in here are really great. Yes. You know, and someone commented just the other day on our video that, hey, when you sing in here, it sounds really, really good. And it's weird because the high clearance actually allows us to hear the children in the back better than any of our other vans. I don't know if it's the ceiling material. I don't know if it's just the high clearance, but it's really cool. Anyways, this is a view from the cockpit, okay? Super simple dash, right? Nothing complex. We have a good spot for our little Big Ski Family stickers up here where we grab our stickers and our business cards. Um, we usually put an ice chest in the middle here. Uh -huh. And as Janice has showed in the past, or our backpacks, which are right there, which is our full gear to go. But that's, that's it. The sliding door works really, really well. Yeah. It's super simple and it handles all of our gear and tons of people. And so far, we've got about 60,000 miles on it. You get an oil change, get this, every 20,000 miles. It's 20,000 miles between oil changes. So you can literally go forever, it seems like, with a diesel and not have an oil change. We hope to put a ton of miles on this thing. Two, two years? Yeah, a little over, about two years. Yeah. Anyways, kids are all chilling out here at the beach. We're gonna go play, and uh, thanks for joining along. That concludes this week's episode. We hope to see you next week and have a great day.